Saturday Social, brought to you by EA Sports FC with PlayStation 5. Joining us on the show this week, we've got Chris MD and Paul Machin. Arsenal and Liverpool, so I think we know what's coming. Massive game this mm, weekend. Huge game. It? So it's time for a classic Saturday Social combined 11 mm. based on this season. Really, is what we're looking for. Obviously, they've both put together an 11. They're yep. going to try and battle it out head to head. Only one name is going up on the board yep. at a time. Any disagreement will select based on the best argument put forward, right, Smith? Sounds good, yeah. So Liverpool v Arsenal, command 11, goalkeeper first. Who have you gone with? I think I'm a rubbish Arsenal fan for this because I've got far too many Liverpool players in my team. But I've gone Alisson. Has to be, yeah. doesn't it? You couldn't. Uh, it's it's not about being a good or bad Arsenal fan. It's just. What, who are you going to pick yeah, instead yeah. of Alisson Becker? Best goalie in the world. We talked about him briefly earlier. Mm. Is he the Premier League's best ever goalkeeper? Because there has been a lot of debate about that, hasn't there, Look, over the last few months? So I was I was a goalie growing up. So for me, there was early days Premier League. <laughs> oh, that, that's qualification. <laughs> <laughs> no, Whatever he says, it's yeah. right. I was yeah. a keeper, yeah. 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 Sorry, <laughs> Peter Michael, but this man played ball. Yeah. No, no, no. I was right. about to yeah. say. Just to clarify, I <laughs> wasn't. <laughs> oh, OK. Yeah, Get out of it, it, went Neville, it went Neville Southall, Peter Schmeichel, yeah. I think, Petr Cech, and then Alisson. And then me, yeah. yeah. And then me, yeah. obviously, yeah. and then Alisson <laughs> Al 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 Becker. Yeah. So I think he's in that He's in that clutch of the best of the best. So but I'd yeah, love it for the Paul Machin goalkeeper magnet now. So exactly. you're saying yeah. in the top four, but not the best then? No, I'm saying he's, they're, they're the ones the best of their time. So, you, yeah. you know, nostalgia is a huge factor. Peter Schmeichel's got as finished as career. Yeah. You can look back at exactly what he did and what he won. But for me, I think as far as the complete package, much better footballer than Schmeichel was. Stick him up then. Just quickly on the David Raya Ramsdale situation. Yes. Mm. It's a bit of a talking point still, isn't it? Bumble yeah, away. I mean, yeah, I love Ramsdale. He's like, uh, yeah, Ray, uh, Ray's clearly a, an amazing footballer with his feet and he's, he was quite nervous when he came in. Um, Arteta obviously said that he was kind of going to compete it's them against each other and he mm. kind of hasn't. Um, mm. So it's a difficult <laughs> one. And um, I think I'm slightly biased because Aaron is a lovely man, watches YouTube as well. Yeah. Him, and he's, he's just really nice. So uh, I feel a bit sorry for him. I'd like to see him have a bit more game time. OK, okay. fair enough. Let's go to the right back. <clears throat> again, Agreement last again. season, maybe there's a bit of debate here, but this season... Yeah, he's. I, 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 Trent is such a nice footballer to watch as mm. well. Just when you watch him play... I just I, I love watching a footballer who's like three steps ahead of everyone else, and the way that he passes first time. Um, I think anyone who like plays attacking football themselves, obviously at a terrible standard, but just the way that he plays passes and stuff, you're just like I, I love that. The, oh, did you ever play right back? <laughs> <laughs> so actually, funnily enough, we had a number of injuries, and as a goalkeeper sub, I came on at right back now. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> uh, it was a good game. That. Uh, no, he look. I, I like the fact that. Yeah. We're actually having sensible conversations about Trent again, you know, because I think there was I a agree. spell where every yeah, top club it. had a, an English right back and ours is the best, and this all this like Trent step outside nonsense mm. and memes yeah. with your, your right back and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I think we, people can see him for what he is, and that is, yeah, I, I said earlier, generation, he's a generational talent, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. He, he is. Awful at defending. Like, let's not, not get past awful that. At but him against that Martinelli was the worst I've ever. Like, Martinelli has a, a trouble against some right backs, but he was. You're going to let that stand, Paul? No, no, no. I mean, fine. Awesome. fine. Martin, I, I think... Martinelli got loads of goals and assists off the back of that. Game. Like, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, fine. I, I, yeah. Trent is unbelievable as a footballer, and I think he gets in this position despite it, but you can't deny that he is awful at defending. I can deny he's awful at defending. I mean... I'm going to stick up for a bit here. I also yeah. don't think he's awful at defending. I think awful is harsh. harsh. He's a good defender. Harsh. I think maybe because he's so exceptional and elite yeah. at everything else, people have to try and find a way of being like, oh, he's not. <laughs> he, he, he looks like a right winger. You know when a right winger comes back and you're like, you, you see an attacker dribbling and you're like, oh, this isn't going to end well. That's what it's like when you see a winger dribbling. Yeah. This, I mean, I get it. Would you start him on the weekend? Because obviously Conor Bradley is... Mm. But would you start him in a midfield role? Could and Conor both? Bradley? Yeah, could you play Trent in the middle and I think right back? I think if Alexis McAllister wasn't in such good form, I think that would be a more reasonable conversation. Whereas right now... Bradley's been like, really good, like a, a revelation so coming good. into the team. But then we saw it against Chelsea. Trent just comes off the bench and he's just spraying passes around yeah. the pitch and yeah. Liverpool go up a level just in terms of their all-round output. Yeah. So, no, I mean, honestly, you should be, teams should be getting built around this. Yeah, I, I yeah. would never not put him in a team. Yeah. Come on then, let's yeah. stick him on. Nine assists this season in all comps. Most chances created, most yeah. through balls, most open play crosses in the Premier League for Liverpool this season. Generational He'd talent. He'd be an unreal player for you to shoot a video with. Because it would just be pink. I have done. I did free kicks with him. Before. Oh, wow. 
ridiculously wow. good. Honestly, just like <laughs> you think, you know, after a few edits, you can hit a free kick, and then you see someone like Trent do it. Yeah. And you're just like, you kick the ball about three times harder than I do. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's do centre back partnership then. Okay. Uh, I think looking at your magnets, there's an agreement here. Yeah, we're we doing, uh, we doing both. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I and think, I think it's probably, probably what most people would have, right? Yeah. I think that's quite an easy one as yeah. well. Virgil van Dijk, Saliba, I think that's... But how good is Saliba? Like, do you think he can get to Virgil's level? I was really hoping when we played Arsenal at Anfield, to wa I was watching him intently, because I like this like thing where every few years there's a new, this guy's better than Van Dijk thing, and he's seen, mm. he's seen most of them off. And then I watched Saliba, and I was like, oh, no, well, hopefully he's rubbish, and he was brilliant. He was, <laughs> you know, but like, bringing the ball down, going past yeah. guys as well, and that, that, that's the I, level that's now. That's the thing I think that he has, is when you watch him play, like he could genuinely play almost as an attacker at times. Like, he, he does body feints and stuff in the centre-back role, and his ball retention is just insane and, and yeah obviously Van Dijk is insanely good but I yeah. think has to There has been a bit of debate <clears throat> and I'll throw it out there now from Liverpool fans about the Canate rise recently yep. against Saliba. Liverpool fans going very heavy on the fact that Canate's had an amazing season. Some of them saying he's better than Saliba, is I, that a realis I, realistic shout? Well, look, that? I think it's, it's interesting to note that for me, let me just get that's the way it goes around. It's Virgil van Dijk is in his position and Saliba can play right side of centre half, but I don't need to get him in. I, I would, look, I'm a Liverpool fan. I would put, I'd put John Matip in if he hadn't got injured, to be honest. I think he's probably in that clutch of maybe the second best yeah. defender in the league. Saliba's excellent, by the way. Um, <clears throat> and I know people get really offended when you put certain people in certain positions, but yeah, Canati's great. Really, really good. I'm not sure what he hasn't got. I think, but alongside Van Dijk, we sort of end up disrespecting Liverpool's other centre backs. Because mm, yeah. uh, Gomez was brilliant at centre back. Uh, Matip's been brilliant. Canate's been brilliant. Um, but it's like we're only allowed to have one yeah. really good one in the outside football world. I don't know. I, I think Saliba this season has had a case for being almost best centre back in the world. Like genuinely, yeah. he has been unbelievably good for us. And you saw it last season. We were. You know, obviously there's the classic Arsenal fall off around March time, but when Saliba got injured in a pointless Europa League game, um, we just absolutely fell apart and our, our whole team just suddenly started playing so much worse. So, yeah. yeah yes. Okay, yeah, stick them on. Total yeah, agreement for the, uh, the centre backs. One each. Paul with the Arsenal magnet. Chris with the uh, Paul with the uh, Liverpool magnet. Sorry, Chris yeah. with the Arsenal magnet. And we'll right. move on to the next position. Left back. I. Him on this, isn't it? Yeah. You've gone, gone Joe. Joe wow. Gomez. <laughs> Yeah, I've gone Andy Robertson. So both Liverpool picks. Why would you yeah. go, Joe? On form this season, mm. um, Andy Robertson is. If it, what, if it was just general ability, yeah. Robbo's been one of the best left backs in the world for yeah. years now. Um, but Gomez has been exceptional. Robertson been been out injured, dislocated shoulder, months and months and months out. Simicast came in, actually played really, really well, and then he went that went down. And there was a spell probably when Robertson got injured. We were thinking, oh God, we were looking at our run of games, going, how are we going to cope? And, like, Gomez, effectively third-choice left-back. I don't think he was even considered. We would have thought about him playing that role. He's been brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And, and I'm, I'm glad, just in a general sense, people are back to talking about what a good player Joe Gomez yeah. is. Was yeah. Needs to score a goal. Oh, yeah. Needs to score Still a goal, like Joe, I believe. <laughs> Joe, if you're watching, I believe. I, I believe in Every you, Every game that gets caught with the yeah, yeah, it is harsh, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> they say the exact number of games. Yeah, no, yeah. 184. It's more, it's, yeah. What's happening you, this year? You've got me the Robbo. Robbo, just... Yeah, I mean, I, I don't feel like I'm as qualified to talk about this as you probably are, but um, Robbo's just a fantastic left-back, has been over the years. OK, do you think... Uh, I mean, we've I got a Bowser Liverpool fan yeah, here. Yeah, and I think as it is based on goodness. this season, and, and you are the Liverpool yeah, fan, I'm let's, go, go, with let's go with Joe then. Yeah. Um, right, I'll move on to DM. Mm. So you're holding midfielder. This was the point at which I realised that I had nice. put many Arsenal players in my... Combined eleven right. and had to make a sacrifice. So, yeah. so Declan Rice wasn't in there originally. No, no, but I, there was a, there was a tough conversation <laughs> I had with myself. Really, um, in front oh, of the mirror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it happens a lot. Because I, I think I just I, I've really enjoyed McAllister and I've really enjoyed Endo playing in there. To be honest, and again, that's pure Liverpool bias. But I'm not so stupid that I don't know he's brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I was a bit like, well. I, I've seen him play obviously for England, and you know mm. when he, he plays in the England squad, it's such a different squad. But I didn't realise how good he was at football and had heard West Ham and had friends so at West Ham. So many Arsenal fans, fans yeah. have said this. Mate, but, yeah. but, but, you know, West Ham fans talk about him and you're like, yeah, like, of course yeah. he's that good. But 
yeah, I just have an apology to make to every single West, fan, West Ham fan that I know because he has probably been our best player this season. Mm. Uh, every single game, he's, his ball retention is insane, inter interceptions insane. Like, I, I genuinely, yeah, he'd be my first. He's player. nailed on, isn't he? Let's what, yeah. what I think about him, it's been so good, is nobody's even mentioned £105 million. Mm. Like, yeah. when, whenever it's a fee that yeah. minutes, Well, they have the now by people every, going, no one's even mentioned. And also, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> if you look at the history of £100 million plus signings, historically, Most and in the Premier League, a lot, a lot of them haven't lived up to yeah. that. And a lot of that is not their fault of the player, it's just no. what the market dictates. So I think he's been brilliant, he's a tap in. Let's do the other two midfielders then together uh, to see any so if you're playing in different what positions you're playing here. You've gone with Sabotsline two Liverpool. Jones. Sabotsline Jones. You've gone with Erdegaard gone and Sabotsly. So should we stick Sabotsly on then if there's I mean, an agreement? Sabotsly's an agreement, yeah. so, so you're let's happy stick him with that? on. See, where does, would you want to? I mean, does it matter the overall position? Because uh, that's I, where Sabotsly plays. Yeah, yeah, I would me. do slightly in front of Declan. I, I do. I think Odegaard can play like that. You'd have it as those. Would, wow. would, you, would you have Odegaard? So it was oh, it was uh, Odegaard or Sabotsly for me. Yeah. Uh, and Dom came out on top because. Mm. <laughs> Because you're a Liverpool fan. Because you're a Liverpool fan. It's quite an easy segment. Yeah. No, no, yeah. and, and but it was that that was the other tough one, and that, ultimately that's where me thing came round as well. I I, I made an I allowed myself to have Declan Rice because I wasn't choosing Odegaard. Yeah. But I, I he's brilliant, isn't he? He's, yeah. yeah. Is he Arsenal's best player? Uh, no, I wouldn't say he's not our best player, but he's. I think he's another one of those players that like makes you fall in love with football, and he's one of those Arsenal players like we've had over the years that you just neutral people will end up supporting Arsenal because you just watch him play. Um, Very graceful on the ball, isn't he? The way he yeah. glides with it. Seven it, goals in all his well. competitions this season. Yeah, yeah, off, off the ball. Yeah, yeah. so like, pressing. He's ridiculously good. So you're happy to concede. Uh, with Erdegaard and Sabotsly for this one? Yeah, I just, obviously, for, for me, Curtis Jones, I think he's been vastly underrated for Liverpool yeah. this season, so that's why I think he would be in it. And I, I, his best position is this sort of left of the midfield three, because if, if you're doing a direct comparison, yeah. I don't think Arsenal have got anyone who really fits in that as a, Yeah, position. as a centre-mid, yeah. I, OK, I, I, okay. I, okay. Let's, right, go right, let's, go, uh, let's go with Erdegaard. Yeah, I'll put him up there. I think he was their player of the month as well, like last month, wasn't he? So, pretty exceptional. Uh, yeah, OK, okay. Bump, so bang on. forwards... Mm. Tough this because yeah, I, think I think we're going to have disagreements bit of here. Going I'm on here. guessing Mo Salah is in both of your teams. Uh, yes, obviously. Got to be. So let's yeah. get Mo on. There's not even much point debating Mo, is there? So, well, the problem is I put Mo at striker because yeah. I needed Oof. to shift rounds. Because you wanted to shoehorn your um, two wide players in, or is that? <laughs> but I, I could. Th th there's an argument to be made if there's one player who's coming out here. I've seen Darwin Nunes and I disagree. I was going to say Jota, I could could find his way into this team. Oh, there, there cannot what, be both of them Can I just ask, you, you, as soon as he said Nunes, you shook your head, so why, <laughs> why do you feel so strongly about that? <laughs> He's just like, I don't know. Ali McCoy was going on about how funny he is to watch the other night. For, like, there was no commentary on the actual match. It was just all about Darwin Nunes. Like, I think he's, he's a great player, but I think it, it perfectly describes him that he broke. What is it that you don't like? He is he it, you don't like, wet record, do you not like happiness? <laughs> You don't like <laughs> no, entertainment. You don't like the, fun. The fact that because people are like, oh, he gets in great positions. He hit the woodwork four times. Like, yes, but he didn't score. That's the, that's the key thing. He's the eleven shots. He, he has got eleven goals and eleven assists this season. Yeah. How many he, goals? He, he is, plays up front for Liverpool. Like, how many goals has Saka scored in the, this season? But he's not playing. The Liverpool attack is much more efficient okay. than Arsenal's okay. attack. I would say. It's okay. Yeah. It's interesting. But um, he is the top scorer, Saka. To ten season. goals ten. in all comps. Seven Premier League goals. Saka less than. Darwin Nunes, is that what yeah. we're saying? Darwin Nunes is 11 goals uh, and 11 assists this okay. season. No, that's interesting. I, I just, <laughs> <laughs> he knew the answer. But, <laughs> if he wasn't so much like a, like a big puppy, like a big golden yeah. retriever, I'm not sure Liverpool fans would like him as much as they do. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I mean, goals, assists and being like a big puppy, yeah, absolutely. That's yeah. Cool. Uh, Jota, I rate above Darwin, Ruthless. I'd have said, yeah. Ruthless. Who are the other two you've got, Chris? All right, so I've got, got Jesus. I, I would put... A complete disagreement. Jesus and Saka you've I'd, got. So okay. I would have played Salah as a central striker and then I'd have played Sack on the right, Jesus on the left. Um, wow, you played there... Jesus out of position. Jesus is such a talented footballer. Mm. Like, genuinely, he's one of our most... I'd, I'd put him... Probably Declan Rice and Saliba as um, Saka's probably in there as well. But like as, as our most important players, he is just fantastic on the ball. Mm. With that said, then you've got two Liverpool, you've got two Arsenal. Is there an agreement where you pick one Liverpool, one Arsenal? Is that I think a fair the way to do it? The only Arsenal player who would have got in that front three is Saka, but he plays in Salah's, Salah's role. So that's that's the in. problem I had as well. Wow. So, okay. So you're you're thinking this should just be a pure? It, it, it's I think it's a great problem to have here because yeah. none of these players I'm looking at and I'm like that is a horrendous shout. 
I think. So Diogo Jota, you're so in. Diogo Jota could, could, could be playing up front, given his I, I would, excellent yeah, striking. He could go I'll down play. the. Well, I see. She, yeah, where do you play? Do you want to play him off the left and Darwin through the middle? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think Jesus has to be. I, I just think he has to make it in. I think the Jesus thing that changed his mind. Oh no, no, no! I just because I because I would because again because I, I know because I want my front three in there. So I, I Darwin. Saka not play off the left. Uh, so what I would say is yeah. both both of these two players are criticised for their finishing, and I would say Jesus offers more than Darwin does. I think both of these yeah, players are criticised for their finishing, but one of them scores goals and gets assists. Need a decision. Darwin Nunes and the other one doesn't. So do we uh, want to I'm, score goals and win games? Is what I'm saying. I, 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 I disagree. I think you've got a goal scorer in Jota in this team. You've got a goal scorer in, in Salah. See, that's I Arsenal's think. problem. You can never have too many goal scorers. <laughs> they try and walk in it. I would go <laughs> Jesus for. I th I th I'm, think James eleven James goals, James eleven assists. I'm, I'm coming. I think he's a better footballer well, than Darwin. I, I just. Oh, well, it's a horrible decision. Uh, do you know what? I think let's just go with goals on this one. I'm going Darwin. That's horrible. There it is. Wow. Okay, there is confirmation. As a Man United fan as well, that is Liverpool. I hope by the do not win Chris is for week tonight. With Joe's referee in there, but there is confirmation. Let us know what you think and what changes you would make.